Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another episode of Hard Times, where I explore food and recipes from times of hardship. So in this episode, I'm going to go back about 150 years to mid-Victorian England, and I'm going to be making a toast sandwich. A toast sandwich, exactly what it sounds like. It's going to be two pieces of bread that are generously buttered, and inside you've got a crisp piece of toast. It doesn't sound like a real thing, does it? But apparently it was. So the first written account of this was back in 1861 in a book that was written by Isabella Beaton in the book called A Book of Household Management. And this book became wildly popular because it contained not only recipes, but ways to run a very efficient household. And in this book, there's a recipe for toast sandwich and is specifically made and designed for the infirm. So if someone is not well, this is supposed to be a nutritive and palatable meal for them. So very interesting. In fact, Isabella says, this sandwich may be varied by adding a little pulled meat or fine slices of cold meat to the toast. And in any of these forms, we found very tempting to the appetite of an invalid. So I first learned about this sandwich from Oscar on Twitter. Oscar, thank you so much for letting me know about this sandwich. I've since read an article on the BBC all about this, and I will put the link to that down below. And apparently back in 2011, the Royal Society of Chemistry remade this sandwich on the 150th anniversary of Mrs. Beaton's book to kind of celebrate it and to show what people ate 150 years ago. Well, at this point, more like 100 and six years ago, but you get the idea. So I'm also interested in this period of cookery in Britain because of this book, which is very similar to Mrs. Beaton's and it was sent to me by Candy. Candy, thank you so much for sending this to me. When she was living in the UK, she loved to collect old vintage books and she sent me this one. And this is similar to Mrs. Beaton's book in the sense that this is all about how a homemaker can keep her home. It's called Every Housekeeper's Book, Plain, practical, economical, and easily understood. Family Cookery, written by Alexander Murray. Isn't that great? So there's no publishing date in here, but you can tell that the book is very old, that it was actually pressed with letterpress, and there's no actual copyright date. But look at these illustrations. And when I looked it up online, there was an edition from 1845. So I imagine this is a book that was contemporary to Mrs. Beaton's book. Elements of Cookery, Gravies and Sauces, culinary preparations, so all things related to food, including cookery for the nursery and for the sick. Lots of very softly textured food, very bland foods, including bread soup, which is very similar to the toast soup that I made in my Civil War era video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down below. That was also made for injured and invalid soldiers. So there is a history of this. I think that is so interesting. So if we continue a little bit further on the next page, there's an entire section for cookery for the indigent. So cooking for the poor. These recipes are really interesting to me as well. So there's a soup for the weak persons. There's something called brew brewis. So it looks like it's just made with bread. Soup for the poor. Oh, coddle for the poor and sago. So these recipes I'm very much interested in exploring as well. So big thanks again to Candy for sending me this book. Absolutely fascinating. Look what I found on this page. This is an old little recipe tag for British champagne. Doesn't that sound interesting? And there's a whole section here on homemade wines and cordials. So this British champagne is made with one and a half pounds of currants, four and a half pints of water, one and a half pounds of loaf sugar, half ounce of yeast. And this piece of paper is dated on the back from 1925. So I'll just tuck that back in there to hold my spot for wines and cordials. So, so absolutely fascinating, right? Okay, so back to the toast sandwich. Very, very simple. We need a toaster and we need some white bread. So I've got three slices of white bread. I'm gonna place one into my toaster and I'm gonna put it on good medium toast. Plain bread here. Why is that smoking? This appliance is probably one of the most used appliances in my house. We toast bread every day. Good old toaster. All right, got some butter. So since this sandwich just consists of essentially bread, we're gonna well butter our bread. So got some butter here. This is what's gonna give us much of the flavor 
in calories in this bread. So according to the Royal Society of Chemistry, this sandwich contains 330 calories. So the British Dietetic Association said that you can round out this sandwich, make it a little bit more substantive by adding, say, half a can of sardines or an egg or cucumbers and carrots. But then you would have just a sandwich, wouldn't you? So well-buttered bread here. Okay, toast is toasting up. And then Mrs. Beaton also recommends adding some salt and pepper. So add some freshly grated black pepper and a bit of salt. Okay, and we wait for our toast. This, by the way, is a little butter keeper. So you put your room temperature butter in here. You place just a little bit of water in here and then you store it like this at room temperature just on your counter. And the water creates a seal and it keeps it from going bad. And there's also a little bit of insulation because you've got this double layered. So it stays soft and spreadable in the winter and it stays spreadable and not so melty in the summer. So I've had this for a couple years now and I really, really like it. Depending on where you live, this may or may not work for you. I live in New England, so in the wintertime it gets cooler in the house. So you want spreadable butter. In the summertime, it gets warm and your butter is just melty. So this has really worked well for me. If you live in a climate that's pretty moderate, then you probably wouldn't need that at all. Next, I'm gonna grab a knife and I'm gonna cut my sandwich. Oh, there is my toast. This toaster does not toast very evenly, does it? I put it on three and a half minutes. Let me go scrape my toast. Ugh. With all this technological innovation that we'd be able to design a toaster that toasts evenly. Hmm. Oh well, let's put the toast right inside this. Oh look at this! And you can see how much the bread actually shrinks after it's been toasted. About a quarter of an inch all the way around. Cool. Take the other side, plop that right on top. Look at that. Triple layer of bread. Okay, so how do you cut your sandwich? I know that this is something of great contention. Some people cut it this way, some people cut it this way, some people cut it in triangles. Since I've had children, I usually cut it this way. It's much easier for them to handle. I found if I cut it triangularly, sometimes the end of the triangle would poke out of their mouths or at any rate, I'm gonna eat the sandwich myself. So I'm gonna cut this sandwich on the bias, which means like this. You ready to open this up? Here we go. Look at that. It almost looks like a cutlet. That's kind of amazing. Look at that. Yeah, it almost looks like Wiener Schnitzel or something or tonkatsu. Kind of amazing. Alrighty, here we go. Itadakimasu. Hmm. It's very dry. It's a very dry sandwich. Hmm. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. Mm -hmm. It tastes like salt and peppered bread. I was really hoping for a big crunch from the toast, but once it's sandwiched between two pieces of just buttered bread, I guess it shouldn't be too stretch of the imagination that the toast gets soggy. Let's try it with more butter. Oh. Mm, mm-hmm, okay. Yes, once you add more butter, it moistens it a bit more, gives it a little bit more salt. And that middle portion had much more of a crunch from the toast rather than the side pieces. I think because of the side and the corner in particular, you've got a lot of that crust going on. You don't really have that really nice toasty sensation as opposed to the middle where you do. I was hoping the toast would give it more of this kind of nutty toasted flavor, but not as much as I expected. But it does kind of change the texture a little bit. It's not just like buttered bread because you have that toast in the middle. You do have more of kind of a substantial or bite to things. Is it satiating? Is it delicious? Mm. Mm hmm. Well, yes, I think if you're hungry, this would satiate your hunger. Is it delicious? Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty bland. It is a very bland sandwich, which makes sense if this is intended for the infirm. Because when you're not feeling well, you don't necessarily want heavily flavored 
foods. You want something that's going to be easy on your system. So this makes a lot of sense. Toast is just such a beautiful thing, as is bread, but toasting your bread, it just something else when you add a little butter and honey it's different than you add butter and honey just to bread although bread is delicious in its own right freshly baked you can't beat it but toast i think it has to do with the texture of it that crispness when you bite into it and also the aromas and the smells that happen when you get a little bit of kind of singeing on your toast it's just lovely even when it's soggy for what it is, it's still pretty tasty. Just a very humble and simple, simple sandwich. There it is, the toast sandwich. It's a real thing. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Check out the Hard Times playlist to see more interesting recipes from history and times of hardship. And if you have a Hard Times recipe or if there's something that you'd like me to test out or try, let me know down in the comments below or find me on social media and let me know because I love your ideas. I hope you guys enjoy that one and I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.